In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a puzzle book, specifically a word search puzzle book. Welcome to my channel. My name is Caroline and I make videos to help you master your mindset and make money online so that you can build a life you love. So puzzle books is a huge niche on Amazon. They are great for the gift giving and Christmas holiday Q4 sales time, but in general year round, they just sell really, really well. And for this particular tutorial, I'm going to be making a word search puzzle book for adults and word search puzzle books. They're really, really popular. As you can see, they're over 10,000 results for word search puzzle books for adults. And I did a video a little while back where I studied a particular brand that does particularly well on Amazon with puzzle books and it's a brand that is estimated to be making over $50,000 per month with puzzle books. I will link that video at the top of the screen if you're interested and want to go check that one out. But as you can see here just very quickly scrolling through the word search puzzle books they all have fantastic BSRs. BSRs is the bestseller rank, which is this number down here. This number determines the popularity of a book in the Amazon marketplace. The lower the number, the more popular the book is and the more copies of that book is selling every single day and every single month. So one thing that I've been talking about a lot lately with low content books is trying to find a way to make unique books. Creating unique books is going to be the way forward with low content book publishing because there are so many people uploading books. People are uploading hundreds and thousands of the same books. They're copying each other, copying other people's books. And it's really hard when you spend a lot of time creating something that someone else goes and copies and you may not even be the one that makes the sales at the end of the day. So you really need to find ways, creative ways to make something unique. Making puzzle books like this is a way to make a book really unique because even if you create word searches or puzzles that have similar kind of themes, similar kind of words, it is never going to be exactly the same because the software that you use will always create a unique puzzle. And so this is a really great way to start creating books that are very different, very unique. You're not going to have issues with duplicate content and people saying that you're copying their books and things like that. Obviously, you still have to be careful of titles and subtitles and what you name your book and the cover design and things like that. But at the end of the day, the puzzles themselves, they're not copied. They're not pre-made. They're not ones that someone has sold to you that they've also sold to hundreds of other people. When you get this kind of software, you're creating unique puzzles that nobody else is going to have. And I think that's really special. To create my word search puzzle book, I'm going to be using a software called Instant Puzzle Generator. Now this is specifically for making word search puzzles and they've got some really great customizations that you can do to make your book look really good. I will pop a link in the description box below this video to Instant Puzzle Generator if you are interested in getting access to this puzzle software as well. And one thing that I do like about this particular software is that it is a one-off price. It is not on a monthly subscription basis. So you are not gonna be paying every single month to get access to this software. So this is the dashboard basically where you land when you log into your account once you have access to the puzzles generator. And as it explains here, we can create multiple word search puzzles and download them as PDF or as images. So there's a few different ways that you can download the final product, the final file, dependent on what program you like to use to create your books or what you want to do with the file after you've created the actual word search pages. So I'm just going to give mine a name of word search general and I'm going to create my puzzle. So there we've got the basic template started. So we go in here to view. The next step is we need to upload our words. And to do that, we need to create a text file that we can upload into our puzzle book that we just created in the software. Now, for the purpose of this video, I've decided I'm just going to be creating a general word search book. So every word search is going to be different. This book has no particular topic, no specific niche. There's just going to be a whole range of different word searches in there. Now, I haven't done any niche research for this video. This isn't a niche research video. This is purely a tutorial to show you how to create these kind of books. Whether creating a book under the general word search niche is a good idea is something that you're going to have to research. 
it's a very high level niche. It's probably very highly competitive. As we saw just when I was scrolling through, there was over 10,000 search results. You may want to look at sub niches, or some smaller niches that focus on a specific topic that may have less competition. So don't just think that I'm making a general word search book because it's a really great idea and there's not much competition and all that sort of thing. This topic or the set of words that I'm doing is purely for this tutorial. So ideally you would spend quite a bit of time doing your niche research and finding a suitable niche that you want to create these kind of books in. Now, where did I get these words? There is a massive list of words here and I will go into them in a little bit. But first of all, where did I get the words? So you can create the words yourself. You can come up with lists of words yourself. Or when you purchase access to the Instant Puzzle Generator, you also have the option of getting access to this Excel spreadsheet. Now, if you struggle to come up with words, if you've got no idea where to start, you've got no specific topic and you just want to do any kind of words similar to what I'm doing in this tutorial, then you can get access to this spreadsheet. And this spreadsheet has at least 10,000 words in it across a whole range of different things. So here we've got the US city and states. We've just got adjectives, which are just words. We've got places in Europe, countries in Europe. We've got birds and animals. We've got US mountains and rivers. We've got US presidents. And then there's just this tab here for miscellaneous, all sorts of stuff. This is something that you can use as well. If like I say, you've got no clue about where to get words or you're stuck for a particular set of words for a particular puzzle. So that's something that you can use as well. So for my interior, I've just taken words out of here because as I said, I'm gonna be creating a general word search book. So basically what I did was I just took the first 25 words from wherever list, whatever list I wanted to take from. In the, the real world, if I was creating a real book for Amazon, I would be a lot more selective in what words I'm choosing. I wouldn't just take the first 25 or, or whatever it may be. Um, I would take a bit more time to select a whole bunch of different words from throughout the lists. All I did was I took any of the words from here and I copied them and I pasted them into that text file over here. So what you really need to do is you need to decide first off how many pages you want your puzzle book to be, how many puzzles you want in the puzzle book, and then from there you need to decide how many words you want in each of your word search. I had a look at some word search books that I already have. Personally, I love puzzles, I love word searches, so I've always got magazines and puzzle books lying around the house. So when I had a look at them, in general, they had from 20 to sort of 30 words per puzzle, I guess depending on the difficulty level of the puzzle. So I decided to go with 25 words per puzzle. Now you could do a whole range of different ones. You could do ones with 15 words, 20 words, going up to 30, 35 words. You could have a whole range of different. They don't have to be exactly the same for every single puzzle. In fact, it might even be a good idea to have a bit of variety in there and do them with different amounts of words and things like that. But I've just decided to go for 25 words each puzzle. I originally decided that I wanted my book to be 100 pages, which is 100 puzzles, which works out to be 50 sheets of paper. So that's not a, a massively thick book. 50 pages is not that thick. And when we talk about pages with KDP, pages are a double-sided page or a double-sided sheet of paper. So if you ask for your book to be 100 pages, Amazon's going to print them double-sided with 50 pages, sheets of paper within that book. Now, how to set this text file up works like this. You have your list of words that you want for one puzzle. When you want the next set of words for the next puzzle, you need to have a blank line between the two lists so that the software knows that where that blank line is, that means we need to start a new puzzle. So you can see here between each set of 25 words, I've got a blank line. Now in terms of these two lines here, I've got a title and a description. You don't have to do that. That is only if you do want your puzzle pages to have a title and a description. You can just have a title. You don't have to have a description. But just to show you how the software works, I popped in the title and description of each one. Now I only actually put a actual description for the first few. So the first one I just titled all about sports. And then I just put as the description, how well do you know sports? From boxing to running to chess, which is your favorite? Can you find all our exciting sports in the puzzle below? The next set of words are to do with winter. So I titled it wonderful winter. And the description will say, it's time to get out the woolly scarves and warm up with a hot cup of hot chocolate. I've got too many hots in there. I would need to edit that <laughs> and try to, ooh, I've got two twos. I didn't do very well on this one. Try to shiver your way through finding our list of wintry words. The next one is all about pizza. 
We love pizza. What's your favorite pizza topping? Does pineapple belong on pizza? So many questions, but can you find all our words about pizza below? The next one was car parts. So I titled that one, Crazy About Car Parts. This one is for all the car lovers and mechanics out there. There are lots of words all about car parts in this puzzle. Can you find them all? And then from there, I just sort of left the title and description very basic. And I just left description goes here just to give you an idea of where it goes. But I'm not gonna go and create a description for every single puzzle in this file. It just would have taken too long for the video. So that is basically how your text file ends up. And once you have done this, this is what you have to upload to your software. Now, most of the time of creating this word search puzzle book or the, bu the book that you're going to make, most of the time you spend is going to be on creating this file. It's gonna take a bit of time for you to get together all them words, all them list of words, get them into the text file, come up with titles and descriptions if you are going to do that. So just be aware that you're going to spend a lot of time on the text file. But then once you have created this text file, it's a really quick process from there. This particular text file, I ended up, although I wanted the book to be 100 pages, I just did 50 puzzles, so 50 sets of words. I did take them from that Excel spreadsheet, so I wasn't off Googling and trying to put together the list of words myself. And creating those title and subtitles for the first few, this probably took me about 30 minutes in total. So that's not too long if you already have a list of words to be choosing from. Obviously, if you're gonna be making up those lists of words yourself, it will take a bit longer than 30 minutes. And if you're gonna be creating descriptions for all of them too, it might take a little while. So I, I would say a couple of hours to create the text file if you're gonna go into detail with the title and the description and all that sort of stuff. But from here, we now get to upload it into the software and create the book. So let's head back to the software and we want to upload the words. So I've just selected that text file and it's now uploading. So here we can see we have all of our pages instantly created. And now we can play around with some of the settings and make this look the way that we want it to look. There's two ways that you can edit these pages. You can edit individual pages and that's what this little toolbar here is. So on each page, there is a little toolbar and you can create edits on each page individually if you want, or if you want to update something across every single page in the document, you would use these. So this is sort of like a global setting. Anything you change in here will change for every single page. If we hit that little edit button, we can see here we've got some options in terms of the font. So if you click down here, you can go through these, looks like hundreds and hundreds of fonts that you can choose from and customize your fonts. Now here we get to customize the individual fonts. So the title, the description and the puzzle font. So I'm going to make the description font a lot smaller. And so I just want to make the font small enough that it fits in within the margins and it's not cut off how it was cut off when the font was a lot bigger. If you want to change the size of your puzzle font letters as well, you can do that here. So that makes it heaps smaller. So let's go back to, I think it was 32. All right, now we can choose the grid size. The grid size essentially would determine the difficulty level of the puzzle. The less grids, the less letters there's going to be and the easier it's going to be to find the word. So the default setting was 16 by 16. We can go up to 20 by 20. So you can see that there's more letters in there, which would make it harder to find the word. We can go 25 by 25. I liked the look of 20 by 20. So I think I might leave it at 20 by 20 for my puzzles. And so then this is where you can sort the puzzle clues. We can then edit the borders. So if you don't want that external border, you can take that off. If you want grid lines inside your puzzles, you can have grid lines inside your puzzles as well. Now here we can have some settings in terms of the solutions. So the solutions get printed after all the puzzles. So you have all your puzzles and then at the back of the book is where all the solutions are. So for the solutions, you can have just to show words only. So if you wanna show solution words only, it would get rid of all the letters that are not part of the words that are meant to be found. And it would just show all the words that are in the puzzle. If you prefer each letter to be circled to show where the word is in the puzzle, you can have a circle or you can just show a bounding bo box, which is basically a, a circle around the word. So I'm gonna leave it as a bounding box because that's just what I like. And then you've got color settings here, but they are pretty irrelevant because you do not want to print your book in color. 
on KDP. And so that is the global settings and you can see that the description and the amount of letters in the puzzle has been updated for every puzzle. Now something else I just realized I had to fix was the size of the puzzle puzzle font. So I realized that the font was a little bit too big that it was pushing five of my words to find off the page. So I just reduced the puzzle font size to 28 and now I have all 25 words showing that the person needs to find. And just as a side note here, I could have also played around with the puzzle clues settings to arrange the columns differently, maybe have more columns or something like that for my puzzle clues. Now looking at it, in terms of being aesthetically pleasing to the eye, I would maybe even add another word because you can see how there's a white space there where wrestling's there and then there's nothing there. Just to have, in my opinion, just looking at it to make it pleasing to the eye, I'd maybe even add an extra word in, but that's not important. Most people probably wouldn't even notice that. That's something very, very minor. Now, something else that you can do is if you notice something about the text file that you need to edit. So say, for example, I did want to add an extra word in there. You don't actually have to go back edit the text file and re-upload it, you can just click here and this will bring up all the information that was in your file and you can actually edit it right here. So if you wanted to add an extra word in, you could just pop an extra word in down there under roller skating, take it out. If you notice a spelling mistake or something like that, you can fix that all up here. All right, now just clicking this little button down here will show the solutions. So it will show you them underneath, but that is not where they're going to print. They print at the end, but it just shows you when I was talking about having a bounding box or having circles around each letter, you can see what the solutions are going to look like. And you can see where the software has placed your words in the puzzle. Okay, so from here, if you are happy with all the edits and all the formatting and everything like that, you can get ready to download your file. We use this button here. You can download individual pages if you want to, or you can just download the whole file as one here. So if we click on this, it will give you the option to download as a PNG, a JPG, a PowerPoint or a PDF. So if you're happy with that file and you do not want to make any further changes to it, you don't need to make any more edits to it, you can just download it as a PDF that is ready to be uploaded into your KDP account. So from here, you can select the trim size and the software will adjust the puzzles and the size of the puzzles to fit whatever page size that you want. Just for the purpose of this video, I'm going to just choose an 8.5 by 11. You can have page numbers if you want. You can have no numbering, but if you do want to have page numbers on, you can select how you want those formatted. So page one, just the number, one of 24 or one of 24 or however many pages it may be. I'm going to leave it as page one. You can center align the numbers. I do like centering numbers and then for the solutions per page you have the choice of one solution per page two or four ideally you would want to have four solutions per page because you have to remember that's just going to add more pages to your book which is going to add more printing costs to your book you do not need the solutions to be the whole size of the page so selecting the highest amount of solutions per page is probably the best idea to keep your pages to the minimum that you want so that you're not having a book with too many pages because if you've got 100 puzzles in your book and you put one solution per page that's going to add another 100 pages to your book which you don't want so select four solutions per page start page numbering at and then we download and here we have our downloaded PDF. So you can see how it's going to look on each of the pages and then right down to the bottom where you've got all your solutions you can see that we've got four solutions per page. So that looks really good. I'm pretty happy with that. But maybe you might want to make some edits. Maybe you want to add a couple of pages at the beginning of the document for, you know, an internal cover page or a page to promote your email list if you have an email list or some sort of freebie or lead magnet that you like to give away. You might want to add more pages to this. So I'll show you a way that you can do that. So I'm back in the word search file here and I'm going to hit download again but this time I'm going to change it to PowerPoint. Now if you use a different graphic design program that you want to upload a PNG or a JPEG into that's totally fine you can do it that way but if you're someone who doesn't use graphic design software you can use PowerPoint. So we can download as a PowerPoint I'm going to leave it at 8.5 by 11 leave the page numbers the same the same number of solutions and I'm going to download it as a PowerPoint.
Okay, so I've opened my PowerPoint file, which has now been downloaded, and you can see how this can be a really quick and easy way to edit the file if you just want to add some pages, perhaps some images and things like that. If you want to edit the word search itself, you need to do that in the software. But you could see if you wanted to add in a new slide, at the top and you wanted to create a interior cover page or a this puzzle book belongs to page sometimes puzzle books have those in there or if you just wanted to have um, that internal cover page with the copyright statement and things like that you could add an extra page in or if you just wanted to add extra pages in for some reason in between each puzzles another reason this would be good is if you wanted to have different types of puzzles within the book so let's say you wanted to do word searches and crosswords in the one book now the instant puzzle generator does have access to other types of puzzles that you can upgrade the software for so if you wanted to get access to the crossword puzzle software you can do that too and then you could create them separately in PowerPoint files and then merge them together and have different types of puzzles within one document. Now let's say that you wanted to make it look a bit more exciting say by perhaps adding some images or something like that on the page we can do that too. Now if you are going to be adding any images into the pages just keep in mind not to do them in color because again we're not going to be printing the book in color so you want to make sure any images and things that you add in are also in black and white. So we could add just some sort of image related to the topic of the words that are being searched for. You could pop it down here, that kind of fits nicely in there. Or you could pop it over here. Or you could even put some images at the top here. You could even put some sort of background behind this if you wanted to. Put a background on the page and have the word search puzzle on top of the background. So you can actually do quite a lot in terms of adding some extra design to make the pages a little bit more interesting if that's something that you wanted to do. So you could do something just as simple as that. But if you haven't ever created a low content book in PowerPoint before it might seem an odd choice but it is actually a really really quick and easy way to create the interior files for your books and so once you've done any edits that you wanted to do in PowerPoint once you've added all the pages that you want to add all you do is just save it export it as a PDF and that is your file ready to be uploaded to your Amazon KDP account and so that is your interior made from there once you've created your interior you would obviously need to go and create a cover for the book because when you upload your book to Amazon you need to have two files one is the interior file and one is the cover file so you would then go off and make the cover I'm not going to do that in this video I wanted this video to be purely about creating the interior and showing you how quick and easy it is to use that software to create these kind of puzzles it's just it's as easy as that like I say gathering the words and creating that text file at the beginning is the longest part of it and from there it is so quick and so easy to get that file with all your word searches or all your puzzles in the one file. If you are interested in making puzzle books, word search puzzle books like this, I have popped the link to the software in my description below so you can go and get access to it and join us in making these really cool, really unique low content books and I'll see you in the next video.